Hi guys, welcome to the 5 Ace channel. Former World Heavyweight Champion Andy Ruiz believed that Anthony Joshua has not been able to regain the old confidence that he had before the first defeat in his professional career. The president of WBC, Mauricio Suleiman, supports the idea of a duel between former World Heavyweight Champions Dante Wilder and Andy Ruiz. Ruiz defeated Chris Ariel on points in his last fight, while Wilder lost ahead of Shadow in October in a trilogy with Tyson Fury. Former interim WBA World Heavyweight Champion Luis Ortiz complained that the top fighters of his division are avoiding a fight with him. According to Ortiz, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk and Andy Ruiz are afraid to enter the ring with him. Recall that on January 1st, Luis Ortiz will fight against former world champion Charles Martin. The last time the 42-year-old boxer fought was in November 2020, when he knocked out Alexander Flores in the first round. The WBO heavyweight title holder Latvian Marius Bridges, while in Dubai, gave a short interview to an American reporter. Marius recalled his unification bout against at the time heavyweight champion from Ukraine Alexander Usyk in the semi-finals of the Super Series. Name it one of the reasons for his defeat and promises to show a more interesting fight in a possible rematch. The fighter also spoke about absolute champion of super middleweight Saul Alvarez. Most likely, the WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury will fight with the holder of the temporary title Dillian White sometime in mid-March says the supermoter of the first Frank Warren. The functioner believes that we have reached the stage when let's just leave contraction obligations. That is, Fury is fighting with White and IBF WBA WBO champion Alexander Usyk is having a rematch with Anthony Joshua. For the last month or so, a situation has been discussed when Joshua receives a large money of compensation and gives Usyk the go-ahead to fight Fury for all four titles, and then gets a fight with the winner, but apparently this option will not work out. Meanwhile, the promoter say that there will be no rematch clause in the contract for the Fury White fight. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. Former World Heavyweight Champion Andy Ruiz believes that Anthony Joshua has not been able to regain the old confidence that he had before the first defeat in his professional career. I would not like to ruin anyone's career, but I see how he has become a title teammate and in the thief, Ruiz said. Maybe he is afraid to miss a heavy blow, because he doesn't want a repeat of what happened to him early. This is normal for fighters, and I think he needs to regain his confidence. No, I wouldn't say I broke it somehow. I don't want to derail anyone's career. You know, he hesitates too much. He thinks too much instead of going out and being who he is. He won our rematch because I didn't do what I had to. That's the only reason. If I had stuck to the gameplay and done the same as the first fight, believe me, I would have beaten him. But I had to learn from my own mistakes. I had to go back to the ladder and climb up again. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I just hope that Anthony Joshua will overcome all the troubles and become a world champion again, so that I will take away his belt again," Ruiz said. The president of WBC, Mauricio Suleiman, supports the idea of a duel between former world heavyweight champions Dante Wilder and Andy Ruiz. This fight would be great and it feeds into the plans for Mexico City. We intend to return to our capital with a big event. Mexico City has always hosted big fights, but in recent years there have been no big boxing nights in the city. 
So really Andy Ruiz vs Wilder would be great. The Wilder Ruiz fight is probably the most interesting non-title heavyweight bout at the moment. Wilder is an explosive boxer and Andy Ruiz is a Mexican fighter who created one of the largest upsets in history of the heavyweight division. Ruiz is very supported by the Mexican fans and I would like to see him in Mexico City, Mauricio Suleiman said. Former interim WBA World Heavyweight Champion Luis Ortiz complained that the top fighters of his division are avoiding a fight with him. According to Ortiz, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk and Andy Ruiz are afraid to enter the ring with him. Do you know why Fury, Joshua, Usyk and Ruiz don't mention my name? Because they avoid me. I don't know why, but they ignore me. Maybe these guys are overreacting. I don't know, but I will be ready when they call my name. Maris Bredis recalled his unification board against, at the time, heavyweight champion from Ukraine Alexander Usyk in the semi-finals of the Super Series. Name it one of the reasons for his defeat and promise it to show a more interesting fight than a possible rematch. You fought with Usyk in a great fight and had a better fight than Joshua. You had a split decision. Tell me about the fight with him in the Super Series. Yes, it was a very difficult fight for me and for Usyk, but we had a huge fight. I hope we will have the second part, Bridges said. You want a rematch? What did you do in that fight? What was causing his problems? Is this your boxing skills power? He won, but there was a split decision. Yes, but I was without a promoter. That's why I had a little experience. Why? It's a long story. But if there is a rematch, I promise. I promise all people that this fight will be more interesting. Now I have more experience and Usyk has more experience. That's why I won the competition. Inside I feel like I can do more and I can show you how to beat Usyk. He is a good man, but this is a sport competition, Brady said. Meanwhile, promoter Frank Warren said that there will be no rematch clause in the contract for the Fury White fight. No, I don't think we need a rematch, Warren said. Fury about the fight for the absolute with Usyk. I don't give a shit about all these belts. Uncle Frank wants Joshua to beat Usyk in a rematch. But he doesn't think Anthony is capable of it, because Alexander calculated him. But even if it's Usyk vs Tyson, it's still going to be a huge fight, very big. There is a feeling that this will happen, really. Warren replied when asked about the chance to see a fight for the absolute in 2022. Business will demand it. The fight has not happened so far because of the trial Wilder vs Fury. We need to get rid of all these rematch obligations. If you win, then you win. Anthony Taylor, who lost to light heavyweight prospect Tommy Fury on points at the end of the summer, said that the Briton was unstoppable and would have lost to YouTuber Drake Paul if he had not refused the fight, sitting health. Taylor suggested that Paul would have copied the style of heavyweight Alexander Usyk in a victorious fight against Anthony Joshua. Fury is a newbie. He was just taller than me, but he doesn't have a knockout punch. If Jake had fought Tommy, it would have been the same fight as Joshua against Usyk. Usyk moves like Jake. Jake Paul in the fight against Tyron Woodley was pinched in the corners of the ring. Jake's cardio is better than Tommy's. His IQ in his ring sense got better too, Taylor said. In his opinion, the real reason Fury refused to fight is that his physical fitness was allegedly not the best. I fought Tommy and his cardio was no way even important rounds. He had six weeks to get himself in shape, but it takes longer. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.